studio today. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness. And today we're going to do a vintage card. It's just beautiful. And if you have been following me in all of my vignettes, um, this vignette is one of my most popular ones. And, um, you know, it's got the happy birthday. Let me just see if I could find my happy birthday here. Um, it fits right on the inside. So here's the vignette um, that makes this little guy right here. And then the happy birthday comes from this piece right here. And I'll have all the links below for you. Um, but another piece that is added to that is this little guy right here. And I haven't shown this one yet. This is Tierra Rondell. I love this. But this right here fits beautifully. Let me grab one of my ones that's already, already done here. This fits beautifully right around this circle right here. So if you want to complete this little vignette, this is the third piece to it. But I also have to say to you that you can also add this little happy birthday to it. This set right here is also one that fits, even though it's not considered part of this, um, this repertoire. This right here fits beautifully on that set right there. So I just want to show you a couple of different things before I get started. Like I said, this is one of the vignettes that I've done. This is another one. Um, this is a totally different one. You can see the shape of it is very different. You're going to see me working with this quite a bit. And that also has pieces that you can go along with it let me just see if you can see bundle of joy and yes we do have a baby coming and then this one right here I haven't finished it yet but this is another one that is absolutely exquisite and they're just so easy to put together um, I do have a video on this one they all go together the same way they're just a different shape so um, I'm going to show you an, another above and beyond card like I said once you have all of these pieces you don't have to stick to the vignettes Here's one that I took this oval and added it directly to a card. Do you see that? And then um, the happy birthday, which was on the inside, okay, right inside here. That's this piece right here. Isn't that adorable? And then we have, well, I did another happy birthday. This one I cut out. This one I left onto the, the back piece of that paper. Uh, I love this one on the back. I'm just kind of showing you how you can do it either way. And the balloons and the happy birthday come together. So you get a lot um, for your, your uh, I guess it, it's, you got a little, a lot of bang for your buck. But you can actually take and use this and do it and just make it look so beautiful. All right. So let me show you how to make this card right here. So I'm going to take my base card, which is 11 by four and a quarter, and just fold it in half. So now I have my five and a five and a half by four and a quarter in, inch card all right and then I have my um, my gray piece and uh, it's called tin pail um, but I wanted to show you what I do I make so many cards and we did this one in club so what I did was I made myself a template you see and then that way there I know every time I make this and I will I will actually um, file this with my my um, my uh, dies um, I will know where to put it. I wanted this one centered. All right. So I just made myself a template. I took and I cut it out and then I used my circle dies to cut out the inside of this right here. All right. So that's how I got my template. I will take this. I will file it with everything that I have. And then um, I have this piece right here. But we're not going to put that one down first because as you can see, it's a tunnel card. And this tunnel card, um, there's a, a, a pink piece below that. All right. So this is my rustic rose. And what you want to do now, this is very, very important in order to get these centered. And again, I used my, my circle dies. But to get these centered, what I did was to take my... Uh, foam squares and I'm going to put one in each corner on the top now this is the reason I'm explaining this is because normally you would do that and then you and then you um, put it down if I did that and I added this to it it wouldn't be centered so to make sure that you get this centered each and every time what I want you to do is to put your foam squares on there and then add this piece to the top and center it and I put these a little bit too close, so I'm going to lift them up and put them closer to the edge so that you can't see them through the circle. Okay. There we go. I'm just moving them out just a little bit. All right. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to take and put this on here and just center it just like that. 
You see? So what I did, again, was I cut this piece. See how it's crooked? But that's okay because you're never going to see this part of it. Um, the most important thing is that this is centered to this piece right here. Now we have to add it to our, our card base. If I were to take and add foam squares to here, it would be offset a little bit. So what I'm going to do, because this is already raised, I'm going to take and I'm going to put my foam squares here, and this balances out both of those. So there's a little bit of a learning curve um, to this, but I hope you're learning something new. I love to teach you guys new things. Um, I know I do a lot of 10 minute or less cards, but sometimes it's good to just, you know, get your hands dirty and stay on that card for a little while. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just add that to my card base, just like that. Now we're gonna take this, and I, I already cut this out. Um, I did this on my Vagabond. I love the Vagabond because when you go through the electrics, um, make it more even. It's a very even um, pressure when you go through. So everything pops out so easily. Now people are saying, oh my goodness, how am I ever going to glue that? Well, you don't have to glue the whole thing. What I like to do is to take a liquid glue, all right, and just take and put dabs of glue on the most important pieces, all right? So when I say that, I mean the bigger pieces, all right? So I'm just kind of dabbing around on the bigger pieces, just a little dollop of glue, okay? So pretty, right? And that's all I did. Maybe I'll put one up there, one right there. Okay, so now we're gonna take and add that to our card base, okay? See, we're almost done. Alrighty, so let's just take, this is going to hang over just a little bit, and what I'm doing is I'm just lining up these pieces right here. See how they just go right to the outside of the circle? So I'm just going to take and hold this for just a minute on those spots that I, I glued down. Okay. And sometimes, I would never put these on my cards because they're way too fat but I use them for my crafting. Now watch this, see? And that's gonna hold them down while I get ready to do other things. So yes, you can purchase these. Let me grab some more here. There we go, and then I'm just gonna hold these two down. I didn't have enough fingers to hold them all down. See, and it only takes about a minute. There. There we go. Yeah, these are too big for cards, but they're great for crafting. Okay? All right, so look at this. We're almost done. I love it. I love it how fast it is. It's so pretty, too. All right, so now our little tag. Let me show you where our little tag came from. All right? It's called Graceful Tiny Tags, and I've used this quite a bit. Um, I love these little sayings. Um, they're very, very um, homemade things, okay? So handmade by, heart made by, um, surprise inside, made with love, thank you, for you. Have you ever had a card and you didn't know what to do with it? Well, here's a push here and a pull here. Read me, a little something and a gift. And they all fit inside these tags, which is really kind of neat. So I've pre-cut one of the tags right here. All right, and I'm gonna take the stamp set from, or the stamp from that tag, all right? And this is um, for a special friend, which can be very generic. Stamp it right on there. I stamped it down a little bit low because I wanna put my bow on there, all right? So now I'm gonna take just one foam square, add that to the back of this one right here, and then add that right there. Okay, and then um, what I'm going to do is add my adhesive to this now so it can dry. All right, and that right there. So I'm going to just set that aside while I make my flower. Let me just show you my flower. That comes, and I love this. I absolutely love this. Okay, so here's the flower. What I really love about this is that they actually put all the flowers together. So you're not trying to add four little flowers to your project and then have to poke them out. It all comes out in one, even though they're separate flowers. So they all come out like this, 
all right? But they're separate flowers, all right? So there's that. And um, I just kind of wanted to show you that um, this right here, I'm going to go back to the original, um, here it is right here. Um, this is the one that's called Tierra Rondelle. This is the one that makes this beautiful filigree thing right here. Well, it also comes with these two little um, tags right here. And what made me think of it is these four were connected, but they really were separate. It's the same right here. These are corners. Let me just show you what they look like. And um, even though it's one die, okay, even though it is one die, um, they do cut out separately. So this is what the corner looks like. And that is part of this filigree set right here. All right. So these are what those, aren't they beautiful? Oh, wait till you see what I do with those. All right, so here are my flowers and I'm gonna take my, um, I'm gonna take my uh, crease tool here and I'm just gonna kind of curl them. But you wanna make sure that you're holding on to this base part right here because if you don't, they're gonna come off just like if you were doing, um, he loves me, he loves me not, you know, with, with your daisies, they will come off um, fairly easy. So then after I do that, I'm just gonna kind of enhance it by just pushing it up. And these are already pre-cut right here for you, so they, they um, actually go up really nicely. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so I'm gonna do that again here. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and do what I did on the first one and just push them. What I'm doing is putting my finger in the middle and just bending them up. And because they already have that crease, they kind of nest inside each other. See, just like that. So there's that one. And then the next size, there's four different sizes here, which make them layer absolutely beautifully. Okay, there's that one. Such a pretty vintage card. I bet you all know somebody who would love to get one of these vintage cards. Okay, so there's those. Now what I'm gonna do is grab one of my little brads here. Doesn't matter what color because I have something up my sleeve to show you. All right, so what are we picking? We picked a gold one, okay? All right, now I'm gonna start with the littlest one and just put these in here. So they're put together with a brad. And then I'm going to fluff up again. Doesn't it look like, a, I think it looks like a mum. All right. So now, remember this is drying, so be careful that you don't move your flower or your, um, your bow. And I'm just going to pick a spot, any spot. So I'm just going to go right over here. Add a big dollop of my, my um, liquid adhesive and add this on here. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is so way cool. Okay, these are my Nouveau drops. These are my, my most new favorite thing. Um, these happen to be the vintage drops, and each bottle is different. So the vintage drops are in this kind of bottle. They are just so stinking adorable, all right? And this one just happens to be the, I think this one is the, it's rose something. Let me just read where it is. It is called <gasps> Dusty Rose. Okay, so Dusty Rose. Now, you see that, that uh, let me bring it up a little bit closer. Do you see that gold? That doesn't match anything that we have going on here, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Nouveau Drops and the Dusty Rose actually matches our um, this um, cardstock, this Rustic Rose cardstock, and I'm just gonna put a dollop right there in the middle of it, all right? Let me just show it to you up close and personal. Okay, so where that little, look at that. Isn't that so cute? Now I could take and put these anywhere that I wanted to. So let me just show you what I mean by that. I could take these and what I like about the Nouveau drops, um, these, these drops are that you have all this bottle's worth, okay? You don't just get three or four of the same size. So what I do is just dab it on and lift it up. Dab it on and lift it up. See, now I have, oops, here's some more. 
you could really go crazy with this because you've got a whole bottle. You don't just have three of them. And then you, all you do is set it aside to dry and it does not take that long to dry. So they come in many colors. They come in many styles. Um, they even have some that are glow in the dark. I kid you not. Um, Nouveau Drops. My affiliate code is down there. I got them from Simon Says. I love them. Okay? So go take and look at them. Aren't they cute? And you never run out of them. Well, until the bottle's empty. All right? I hope you liked my post for today. Um, I just loved making it with you. It's a very vintage card. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. And remember to, to shop my affiliate codes below. Once you're in that store, I call it my shopping mall. Once you pick a store and you go in there, it's just like shopping at a, a regular mall. You go into Macy's, you shop in there, you come out, you check out, you come out, you go to the next store. That's what my mall is all about. Start with Simon Says. It's a one-stop shop. I love it. Take care, have a great day, and thank you again.